the alarm data page, is used to manage alarm settings, via recipe files. When a machine alarm is triggered, based on its settings, it will produce a reaction on the machine. Since each individual alarm can be manually configured, on the alarm settings page, there is a need to be able to save and load these settings. This is exactly what the alarm data page is used for. Let's show this on a simple example. We will start by creating a new alarm data file. For this, we first need to assign a file name, in the highlighted input field. After a name has been assigned, we can go ahead and click on the save button, and in the dialog window, confirm that we want to save the file. We can monitor the status of file creation in the highlighted area. Once the status is idle or OK, the file creation is done. If we now try to move the ejector, while the clamp is closed, it will produce an alarm, telling us the movement is not possible, with the alarm number 519. When we click on the alarm notification, it will take us to the alarm settings page, and in the alarm setup area we can see how the alarm is configured. By default, its severity is set as a diagnosis message, and only the flashing checkbox is marked. For the purpose of this example, let's change the severity to a warning, and mark also the checkbox for alarm light orange. Let's go back to the alarm data page now, and create a new alarm data file, in the same way like before. We give it a name, press the save button, and confirm in the dialog window. Now we can compare what happens when we load each of these two alarm data files. We can load the first file by selecting it, then pressing on the load button, and confirming that we want to load the file. If we take a look at the alarm number 519 on the alarm settings page now, we see it's back to the default values. Let's now load the second alarm data file. Once the data file is loaded, we can go back to the alarm settings page and check the alarm configuration again. As we see, the settings that we saved in second file are now loaded. What we did in this example, with just one alarm, can be done with all existing alarms. Exactly this, is the purpose of alarm data. To enable the user to set up alarms as he wants, and quickly change between preset settings. It's also important to note that the source of alarm data can be set in the highlighted dropdown. The source can be local or an external USB disk. If for some reason you want to delete an alarm data set, it is possible by clicking the delete button and confirming in the dialog window that you want to delete the file. In case we want to change some alarm settings, but keep the same alarm data set, it is possible to overwrite an existing data set by enabling the overwrite checkbox. We hope this video tutorial was helpful. If you have any other questions regarding alarm data page, please leave a comment below or contact us directly through our customer service channels. Thank you and have a nice day.